Hello Skippy Lovers. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, this is a, a new video because it's not aimed at Skippy Lovers, it's aimed at everybody. Karting lovers specifically. Well, sim racing lovers who like a bit of karting, which is me, because I used to do a bit of karting back in the day. So long ago, the dinosaurs have only just died out, so perhaps not the best, uh, you know, level of experience to be talking about modern day karting because it's so different. Uh, this is class 1 karting. Uh, Non-gearbox in other words. Well they've got a gearbox but they haven't got any ratios in it so it's all direct drive. Uh, I did class 4 which is uh, gearbox 125ccs I did. Late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> I told it was a long time ago. Anyway, I thought I'd do a review of uh, Kart Racing Pro. The reason being, uh, the developer who goes by the name of Piboso good name, uh, must be an anagram or something, god knows what, uh, has just released a new um, build, uh, 1.6 I think it's called, or something like that, it's uh, called a beta, but um, it's so much better than the one I had before, uh, when I've just tried it now I thought wow this is really quite good, uh, I thought I'll do a little video and show you guys out there what it's like, um, the reason being the old version was pretty good, but I could not get my open sim wheel to work with it properly and it just got very very frustrating and to the point where I uninstalled it which I was gutted about because the sim has got absolutely masses of potential um, I hope you can see that on the screen the graphics are really quite nice um, it drives very well um, the, the you know the tyres seem as good as anything else on any other sim I'm not a, not a physics expert clearly um, but it just drives like a cart does. Carts are very short wheelbase, very direct, um, very point and squirty and darty and um, you know this, this is what it feels like driving it with my OSW. It really does feel great. Uh, this is Rye House um, which is a track in Hertfordshire in England. It's where Lewis Hamilton cut his teeth. Uh, not a track I've driven on because it's only a class 1 circuit, it's only the non-gearbox cars that race here. So, but I drove past it once when I went to Hitchin to uh, fix my Minarelli engine guys that did that based in Hitchin. Uh, I did drive past this track on a very wet day and looked over the fence but not actually been there or driven around it. But uh, So I can't tell you whether this is an accurate representation of what the track's like or not, no idea. Uh, but it looks pretty good and uh, it certainly drives very well. Here we go, about to zoom into the vortex, watch. Whee! Yes, and there we are on the next track which is called uh, what's it called? I've suddenly forgotten. Zuerta, something like that. I think it's in Spain. Zuerta, Zuerto, something like that. I can't, I can't believe I've forgotten. Begins with a Z. Anyway, as you can see, the volume's gone down a bit. That's a bit disappointing. I'll turn it up here, but I don't think you'll hear that. Yeah, as you can see, as I go off track, um, one major feature of Kart Racing Pro, it's got rain. And as you can see, I've put my rain tyres on, which is a Brucey bonus. Um, first time I tried this I didn't realise why I couldn't go around the corners at all, even at 5 miles an hour, it's because I had the slicks on. It doesn't automatically put you on wet when you drive on a wet track. Uh, it's a proper sim, you've got to do it yourself, you lazy ass. So yeah, um, it's got rain, it's got rain. But what else also got is weird crashes like that. I'm still not quite sure hap what happened there. Um, I was braking at the time. Oh hello, I'm not doing slow-mo. This is a different track, this is uh, Lonato. I oh, will do some bit more wet weather running in a bit, don't worry. That was just to get uh, get you interested in the wet. I don't quite know what happened at that previous track. This is me going extremely slowly, the reason being I've never driven this track before. I don't even know where the flipping corners go. Uh, I'd love to know where my volume's gone. It must be to do with what camera you're on. Uh, Lonato, uh, which I believe... Um, is it Lonato? I believe it's in Italy anyway. I think CRG carts are based here. Uh, could be wrong. I usually am. Yeah, the reason I'm driving like Miss Daisy is because this is literally my out lap. First ever lap of this track. I, I probably drove it when I had the sim before, but as I said, I couldn't really get it to work, so I installed it. Which, as you can imagine, was frustrating because obviously I've purchased the game and everything. And, and uh, but no, whatever Five Auto has done in the latest update seems to work. Um, it's found my wheel. Let me set it to 180 degrees steering rotation, which is as bad as accurate as I can get it for carts. Which is weird, actually. It takes a little while to get used to it because you turn the wheel about a millimetre and you fly off the track to begin with because it just takes ages to get used to it. But 
it's the most realistic feeling steering ratio I can get for the cars. It might be wrong and I might end up going back to 900 which is what I generally have on default for all my other sim, but I thought I'd do it on 180 and try and replicate that sort of point and squirt and very direct feeling that you get with cars. Indeed, you do. Uh, that's what they're like. Turning on a sixpence as they call it. So what do we think overall of Kart Racing Pro? Well, I think it's very good. Uh, I haven't raced online with it. I haven't raced the AI yet. Um, I just wanted to do a, um, a track run through so you could see me driving around the track. And I, do, I really like it. it. It feels good, it drives well, it looks lovely. Um, don't forget this is a fairly low res video for YouTube, so it looks a lot better on my system. I'm running it on triples, no problem. It's not got the bezel correction like iRacing's got. I mean, iRacing is miles ahead when it comes to that. I don't think any other sim has really got the triples sorted like iRacing. Um, but it does run in triples and it runs very well. I've not really had any, um, you know, choppiness or tearing or anything like that. So um, it drives very well and it's, it's just enjoyable. Um, so maybe I ought to race the AI or other people and see how that goes. But um, first impression, well, second impressions, because I had the sim before. Uh, that the changes Viboso has made. Uh, here we go, another quantum leap. Woo um, and this is SA in France. Yeah, the changes Viboso has made, I, I think, are pretty good. Uh, just the fact that the wheel is now recognised is a bit of a bonus. And um, it's just become a very interesting sim to me because the other one that's supposed to be coming out called is it Cartcraft or Cart Sim? That's one of the two, uh, an Australian developed sim. Well, it's still not out yet. Um, as this is, and um, as you can see, it's very nice, very nice natty red boots. I don't know what make of the cart is. I must admit, I just got into the default cart and drove it. There are others in there. Um, there's only there's only five tracks, or is it four? This one, uh, not this. This one, SA Lonato Zuero, or Zorato, I can't remember what it's called now. And Rye House. So not that many tracks on it, and maybe not that many carts, but um, it's not an expensive sim by any means. I can't remember actually, to be honest, how much it was, um, but it was less than 20 quid. And there aren't really any many other cart sims out there, well, none really. There's carts on great uh, Game Stock Car Extreme, um, and I can't seem to find carts on Automobile East, and maybe I've done something wrong there, but um, so there's not many really many options out there for doing a bit of karting and it's a massive form of motorsport you know so many world champions took it up and did well at it and it's a sort of proving ground for lots and lots of people and a sport in its own right really there are plenty of career karters who uh, you know never went into cars Terry Fullerton people like that um, you know and there are professional kart drivers so karters I should say yeah, and having done the sport many years ago, admittedly, uh, I remember what it was like. It was a very friendly sport. Camaraderie was very high. Everyone looked out for everyone. It was competitive for sure, but you know, if you needed to borrow a bit or some tyres or an engine part or whatever, people would always lend you it. Uh, they'd give you a lift to the track if you needed it. And they'd give you help with setup. Um, so you know, great sport, and it does need a sim, I think. Very much needs a sim. And the racing is fantastic as well. Perhaps I ought to have done a video with the racing someone, but then I'd have been shown up for being slow because um, I'm not familiar with the tracks or even the carts really. Uh, my staple diet is, as you know, well, you might not know, Skip, skip Barber series and iRacing. That's where I've been doing track guides and uh, race run throughs, but this is my first foray into reviewing a sim. Um, I'm not showing you the UI or anything like that. It, it does. Um, it does work very well, it's not that complicated, it seems to not get me into too many troubles. Um, I have to get the uh, controls to be uh, recognised a couple of times. You've got to do them all in one go. If you just do one and then not the other, then when you go back into it, it it's not recognised the one you've already done. So if you do them all in one go and then click done or whatever, it seems to work. Uh, that was the only real difficulty I had. The replay system is great, um, you've got to look up which buttons to press clearly, obviously. Uh, but once I've done that and written them down, it's very intuitive. It's a bit like iRacing. You hit the space bar to get rid of the, the graphics. Excuse me. And then uh, various buttons to change the camera angles. As you know, I'll 
not a professional TV editor, so don't expect too much in the way of that. But I'm just trying to change a few camera angles, give you a, an overview of what it drives like. Uh, the OneDrive camera I haven't got is the view I had when I was driving, because obviously I was driving on triples. And my field of view is correct, but it's a bit like this one, in fact, in that you can't really see much of the front wheels. Obviously in real cars you can see your toes, your feet, your pedals, your front wheels because you've got 3D perspective, a bit like wearing your headset, but in the sim, the triple screens, um, I've got to put it to the right field of view and it's still quite a long way forward. You probably can tip the camera up and down, in fact you know you can, but I didn't do that. I don't know why the sound keeps going off. I'd like to know if this is an accurate representation of this circuit, it's SA in France, a very storied circuit. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it looks good. Um, obviously, don't know. Never driven it. Uh, I've not driven any of the tracks on the sim. Had a quick look at the website. They're all real. I know Rye House is real, obviously. Uh, yeah, all these tracks are real. Um, this is helmet cam. Look, top of the helmet. I'd like to think they're accurate. Um, someone will know that. Have a look. And tell me. Put it in the complaints. Sorry, comments section. YouTube tell me, a bit of hesitation there. What's happening here? Here we go. Vortex into the unknown. Woo! What's the next one? Ah, right, this is Rye House again. In the wet. Now I think this is a major selling point really of this sim. How many other sims have realistic wet conditions? Okay, it's not raining. There's no uh, raindrops coming down, but it does duplicate the feeling very well of driving through puddles. Um, Maybe you can't see as well, but the visor sort of uh, has droplets on it. Um, you sort of see it a little bit there, but and that's a very realistic feeling. Um, this is what it's like driving on uh, on a wet track. You basically get puddles because very few tracks are perfectly level, so natural puddles form, and then you're sort of looking for where well, the grip is and stuff. So uh, and the tyres and the carts do behave differently um, in the wet, which is great. So. Whilst there's no carts or wet weather running in iRacing, I'll always give this a go in the wet because it's great fun. And I think I'm about to spin. Yes, and as you can see, there's grass on the tyres. So, overall, what do we think? Well, there's me Windows Media Player I, uh, screen. It looks great. Uh, I'd highly recommend it and uh, give it a go. See you, boys and girls.